hey guys today i'll be showing you guys how to make this beautiful scarf again i'll give you guys some tips and tricks in this tutorial so just in case you don't want to make it how i make it you can make it different ways okay so to start on this tutorial i'll be using this beautiful green with this at first i started with the wrong uh, crochet hook so please bear with me we'll find a red crochet hole in a second but as we always start creating our magic chain like we do guys in creating this um um scarf i didn't go off on measurement i didn't even go off or counting those stitches you see me making right now i'm just taking my time to make sure you guys get it like some of you guys that are interested in making this so that's why i'm taking my time but this scarf was long that it even broke my not like broke but past my measurement tape <laughs> it was more than the measurement tape so you can make your scarf as long as you want as short as you want you can just follow the same exact step but not as long if you want it that long if you want it more than what i did here then you just keep going with everything you did so this is my cheese i got everything i'm just about to chain two like a few more i should say and now i would skip like two i don't know why i would keep going anyways but i skip two going to the next one and pull a double crochet in there so a double crochet is when you pull two that there you go you pull you two and you pull you the last two and you yank over pull you two and pull you the last two that's a double crochet so that would be like this would be like the pattern for this tutorial till we can reach to our design but we are not ready yet to reach the design because we got so many more to go this scarf was really long so <laughs> it took it didn't take me that long but it did because you know i have to work i'm a mom so it take me it take me long to finish a pro a, a project because also I would do it, put it down, and then go. But this would be the pattern for this tutorial. So you chain your double crochet till you reach at the end. I reach at the end. I put my last double crochet in the last stitch. I chain two, turn my walk around, and in the first loop, like the first chain space, I put a double crochet. And then a double crochet again and then a double crochet again that's how we've been doing it here nothing new if you ain't go um but oh i'm sorry guys what is new here is now we are working in the back loop so i hope the camera can pick that up for you guys but instead of going in both of the loops you're gonna go in the one i in the back and that's where you're gonna be working. So if you're doing that, then you should get that design that is coming out just like that. So in the back loop is what I'm working. And this is what we'll be working till this tutorial till we can reach the, the design. But right now we got a lot to go. So this is how we're gonna be doing till we reach to the design. So guys, again, I did like how many cheese of this this is mario battle in me guys but i did like i i did a lot so if you want your scarf not to be too wild like i did my mine wasn't that wild but some people just want it shorter then you can pull like you can pull like, so guys so as i was saying if you want it like shorter you can pull six double like not says double crochet but says rows of this double crochet that i'm still doing and then you can put your design don't worry the design power will reach up i'm just giving you some tips just in case you don't want to do it how i did it here you can put six rows of that pull your design in the middle and pull another six rows of this so that's how i wanted to do this carve now that that scene says rose, but I wanted to pull like the design in the middle. But again, I changed my mind. Like I put a design here and put two more rows and that was it. But anyway, guys, my scarf came out so cute. This is how I want that. So 
making my ridicule. But here am I. I'm on, I think, the two, four, six. I'm on the six rows of this double crochet and only working in the back loop. It's very easy. You keep doing that when you reach at the end of every rose. You chain two, turn your walk around. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, chain two, turn your walk around and work in a very first stage and then in every stages, just like that. So if you're doing that, that's this is exactly what you should be getting. So yeah. But to keep that in line. I got a tips that I show you here. To keep that in line, you're gonna go pull two. To keep that in line, you're gonna go and pull two the both. That's how you do it to keep them in line. There are so many other ways you can do it to keep them in line. Like to keep them straight up and not like short, long, short, if that makes sense. So you're gonna keep doing that, and I will keep doing this till I can get to my um measurement like what should i say not the measurement but um the design for this scarf if you want to do it how i did it would be great but if you want to pull state um six of this double crochet working in the back loop and then your design they assist double crochet that would be so good but uh, again it just a tips you can take it or do exactly what you see here. Like, it's up to you. So guys, this is me again. I'm just trying to show y'all how I, you know, keep like the sash grid. So this is how I keep the sash grid. And I do that on every end of the scarf, on both ends, not just one end. Because both of your ends need to be like straight and nothing is like long and short like that. So this is how I keep my scarf in shape, long and in shape. So, yeah. And this is me, not done yet, just a little progress. You know, guys, I take my night crochet, and so I was in my neck, um, doing everything over there. <laughs> but here we are, we are two, four, six, eight, ten. Is it two, four, six, eight, ten? Yep, ten rows. And then I decided to pull like the design now. But not yet. We need to end this row first and then put a design. I don't know why I did this. Because I feel like, anyway, it's cool. It will cover you up very well. And it's very soft and thick. Like huge, I should say. So, guys, I'm based in the New Jersey area. Now, for the design, we're going to change. We're going to change three. So this would be the design we are coming to. So this is very crucial to like the video. If you want the design, it's optional. There are so many scarves you can just see plain double crochet like this. And then I decided to pull a design. So after you chain three, pull a double crochet in our first chain space. Keep in mind. We chain three because this will be the rules for our design. So now we're going to skip two. My camera was just trying to fist it. There you go. We got to go and go lighting now. So now we're going to wrap our hook around two times. We're doing one at first. So keep in mind of that. You're going to skip two stages and go into the third one and go through two loops. Go through another two loops. And go through another two loops. So that's a triple double crochet. Triple. So you're gonna yank over twice again. Go into the very next loop. Chain space, I'm sorry. Put you two loops, put you another two loops, and put you the last two. So you remember those two chain space we, we skip. We're gonna go back there. 
So wrap your hook around twice again and go back into the first one and pull two, two loops like the same way we did, two, two loops again and then the last two. You're going to wrap around twice again and go for that last one because remember the two we skip, we need to make sure we go back in those two. And then you do the same two loops, two loops, and that's a triple double crochet, if that makes sense. Yep, that's that's how it should be looking if you did what you did. If you don't understand it, you can go back and watch the video, but also I'll be I'll still be doing stuff here for you guys to still be saying. Like I'm not just leaving you like that. So after you do this, you wrap around twice again. And then you skip two chains. The next one, you pull your triple double crochet there again. Just like that. Very simple and easy. Just watch the video if you don't understand what I'm trying to say. Guys, you see how beautiful that is? I, now, I just wish I could do that in the middle, okay? So now we got like three, like four more chain space, we should say. So we're going to skip two, like we've been doing this whole video. Skip two, go into the third one, pull a triple double crochet. It all depends how you end it. I hope you end it the way I end it, but again, you can just do, you can pull a double crochet that will make everything like stand out, like not long or not shorter. So like we're trying to keep the ends straight, if that makes sense. We're trying to keep the ends straight. So if it didn't end up like this, it's okay. If you end up with three, you could still do this. And then at the last one, you pull one double crochet like we've been doing from the beginning of this tutorial. So if it's completely fine. You don't have to end up like this. But if you end up like this, it's just good to end, you know, everything like that. But now we're going to chain two and go back to our regular stuff we've been doing. Double crochet in the back loop. So the design was for only one rose. Like I said, you can do your design for two rows. Rows, you can do your design, put it in the middle. So you can pull it. For instance, for example, you pull six rows of that double crochet. Your design in the middle and another six rows. Or you can just do it exactly how I did it here. So I did this one row and then I did another row and that was it. So after the design, only did two more rows of our 
uh, working in the back loop of double crochet. That's all I did after this design and my scarf was all done and ready. It came out so cute. The next clip, the lighting was up. Like the light is right over my dining table and I decided to go show you guys the stuff on the dining table. So the color is a little off, but that's the scarf. <laughs> Yeah, the color is a little off, but that's just the scarf. It was all done. Like you see at the end of my, my design, I did two more rows, and this was it. I can even fold this and just cover me up. So, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial of this beautiful scarf. It took me a long time because it was very long. Y'all will see in the next clip how long it was. Now, this is the scarf. But yeah, I fold, I fold the, the scarf together. So you can do this. It's optional because it just helps protect you. Um, especially those that live in like the cold environment. I love you and thank you so much for watching. Subscribe.